The M72 LAW is a portable one-shot 66 mm unguided anti-tank weapon. The solid rocket propulsion unit was developed in the newly formed Roman Haas Research Laboratory at Redstone Arsenal in 1959, then the full system was designed by Paul V. Choate, Charles B. Weeks, Frank A. Spinale, AL at the Hess Eastern Division of Norris Thermidor. American production of the weapon began by Hess Eastern in 1963, and was terminated by 1983. Currently it is produced by Namo Rolfos AS in Norway and their subsidiary Namo Tally, incorporated in Arizona. In early 1963, the M72 LAW was adopted by the U.S. Army and U.S. Marine Corps as their primary individual infantry anti-tank weapon, replacing the M31 heat rifle grenade and the M20A1 super bazooka in the U.S. Army. It was subsequently adopted by the U.S. Air Force to serve in an anti-emplacement anti-armor role in air base defense duties. It had been intended that, in the early 1980s, the M-72 would be replaced by the FGR-17 Viper. But this program was cancelled by Congress and the M-136 AT-4 was introduced in its place. In that time period, its nearest comparison was the Swedish PSKOTTM-68 and the French Sarpac. History, during World War II, the sudden prominence of tanks and other armored vehicles on the battlefield led to the creation of man-portable weapons that would enable the humble infantrymen to successfully deal with the new threat. The first such weapons to be used were Molotov cocktails, flamethrowers, satchel charges, jury-rigged land mines and specially designed magnetic hollow charges. But, all these weapons needed to get within a couple of meters from the target to be effective, which severely limited said effectiveness and greatly endangered the user. The U.S. Army then introduced the bazooka on the battlefield, the first true rocket-propelled grenade launcher, which proved an effective novel weapon against enemy armor. Despite early problems, it was such a success that many of the nations involved in World War II soon copied it or developed similar weapon systems. However, the bazooka had its drawbacks. Being large, cumbersome and rather fragile, it needed a dedicated and trained two-man team to be used efficiently. Hard-pressed on all fronts, Germany developed a one-man alternative to the bazooka-type weapons, the Panzerfaust family of weapons. These one-shot launchers were relatively cheap to manufacture and needed no specialized training. They were so simple to use that they were regularly issued to Volkstern regiments. They proved remarkably efficient against any tanks they were used against during World War II. Noticeably, they were not rocket launchers but recoilless rifles. The M72 LAW is a descendant and combination of the two World War II weapons. The basic principle is that of a miniaturized bazooka, while its low weight and cheap build allows for general issue and disposability akin to the Panzerfaust. Description The weapon consists of a rocket packed inside of a launcher made up of two tubes, one inside the other. While closed, the outer assembly acts as a watertight container for the rocket and the percussion cap type firing mechanism that activates the rocket. The outer tube contains the trigger the arming handle, front and rear sights, and the rear cover. The inner tube contains the channel assembly, which houses the firing pin assembly, including the detent lever. When extended, the inner tube telescopes outward towards the rear, guided by the channel assembly, which rides in an alignment slot in the outer tube's trigger housing assembly. This causes the detent lever to move under the trigger assembly in the outer tube, both locking the inner tube in the extended position and cocking the weapon. Once armed, the weapon is no longer watertight, even if the launcher is collapsed into its original configuration. When fired, the striker in the rear tube impacts a primer, which ignites a small amount of powder that flashes down a tube to the rear of the rocket igniting the propellant in the rocket motor. The rocket motor burns completely before leaving the mouth of the launcher producing gases around 1,400 AA degree Fahrenheit. The rocket propels the 66 mm warhead forward without significant recoil. As the warhead emerges from the launcher, six fins spring out from the base of the rocket tube, stabilizing the warhead's flight. The early LAW warhead, developed from the M31 heat rifle grenade warhead, uses a simple, 
but extremely safe and reliable, piezoelectric fuse system. On impact with the target, the front of the nose section is crushed causing a microsecond electric current to be generated, which detonates the warhead. The fuse then detonates a booster charge located in the base of the warhead, which sets off the main warhead charge. The force of the main charge forces the copper liner into a directional particle jet that, in relation to the size of the warhead, is capable of a massive amount of penetration. A unique mechanical setback safety on the base of the detonator grounds the circuit until the missile has accelerated out of the tube. The acceleration causes the three discs in the safety mechanism to rotate 90 degrees in succession, ungrounding the circuit. The circuit from the nose to the base of the detonator is then completed when the piezoelectric crystal is crushed on impact. Ammunition The M72A2 LAW was issued as a pre-packaged round of ammunition. Improvements to the launcher and differences in the ammunition were differentiated by a single designation. The most common M72A2 LAWs came pre-packed with a rocket containing a 66 ohm heat warhead which is attached to the inside of the launcher by the igniter. The standard M72A2 anti-armor heat warhead has an official stated penetration in 1977 of up to 20 cm 8 inches of steel plate, 600 ohm of reinforced concrete, or 1.8 meters of soil. A training variant of the M72 LAW designated the M190, also exists. This weapon is reloadable and uses the 35mm M73 training rocket. A sub-caliber training device that uses a special tracer cartridge also exists for the M72. A training variant used by Finnish Armed Forces fires 7.62mm tracer rounds. The U.S. Army tested other 66mm rockets based on the M54 rocket motor used for the M72. The M74 TPA had an incendiary warhead filled with TEA. This was used in the M202A1 Flash 4 tube launcher. The XM96 Osea had a CS gas filled warhead for crowd control and was used with the XM191 quadruple tube launcher. Once fired in combat, the launcher is required to be destroyed to prevent its use by the enemy as a booby trap. The enemy could collapse the launcher to its original configuration fill it with explosives and shrapnel, and rig it to explode if moved by a soldier believing it to be unused. Due to the single-use nature of the weapon, it was issued as what is called a wooden round of ammunition by the Canadian Army and the United States Army, requiring no checks or maintenance, just as small arms ammunition can be stored in the same manner for years without any problems. Service History Australia the M72 rocket has been in Australian service since the Vietnam War. Currently, the Australian Defence Force uses the M72A6 variant as an anti-structure and secondary anti-armour weapon. The weapon is used by ordinary troops at the section level and complements the heavier 84mm Carl Gustav recoilless rifle and javelin missile, which are generally utilised by specialised fire support and anti-armour troops. Republic of China, the Republic of China Army uses the M72 as a secondary anti-armor weapon. It is used primarily as a backup to the Javelin and M136 anti-tank weapons. Finland, the M72 LAW is used in the Finnish Army, where it is known under the designations 66 Canyon Shillings 75 and 66 Canyon Shillings 88. In accordance with the weapon's known limitations, a pair of tank buster troops crawl to a firing position some 50 to 150 meters away from the target, bringing with them four to six LAWs, which are then used in rapid succession until the target is destroyed or incapacitated. Due to its low penetration capability, it's mostly used against light armored targets. The M72 is the most common AT weapon in the Finnish army. Finland has recently upgraded its stocks to the M72 ECLAWMKI version. It is designated 66 Canyon Shillings 12. It also fields the Bunker Buster version, named M72 ASMRC, and locally designated 66 Canyon Shillings 12 or AK. The oldest version 66 Canyon Shillings 75 is now retired. Turkey the Turkish Army uses a locally built version by Makina Vekamaya Industrisikurumu, called HAR-66, 
which has the performance and characteristics of a mix of M72A2 and A3. Turkey also indigenously developed an anti-personnel warhead version of HAR-66AP and called it Akara plus or minus R plus or minus. United Kingdom, the British Army has previously used the NAMMOM-72 under the designation Rocket 66 Om Heat L1A1, but was replaced by the LAW-80 during the 1980s. The M-72 rocket was reintroduced into British service under the Urgent Operational Requirement Program, with the M-72A9 variant being designated the Light Anti-Structure Munition. United States During the Vietnam and post-Vietnam periods, all issued LAWs were recalled due to instances of the warhead exploding in flight, sometimes injuring the operator. After safety improvements, Part of the training and firing drills included the requirement to ensure the words with cupola were included in the text description stenciled on the launcher, which indicated the launcher had the required safety modification, S. With the failure of the M-72 replacement the Viper, Congress in late 1982 ordered the U.S. Army to test off the shelf light anti-tank weapons and report back by the end of 1983. In partnership with Rolfos AS, Tally Defense offered the M72E5, which offered increased range, penetration and better sights, which was tested along with five other light anti-armor weapons in 1983. For all the improvements the M72E5 offered the AT4 was chosen to replace the M72. Although generally thought of as a Vietnam War era weapon which has been superseded by more powerful AT4. The M-72 LAW found a new lease of life in the operations by the U.S. Army, the U.S. Marine Corps, and Canadian Army in Iraq and Afghanistan. The lower cost and lighter weight of the LAW, combined with a lack of modern heavy armored targets and the need for an individual assault versus an individual anti-armor weapon, made it ideal for the type of urban combat seen in Iraq and mountain warfare seen in Afghanistan. In addition, a soldier can only carry one AT-4 on a mission, but with the LAW he can carry two. The U.S. Marine Corps Systems Command at Quantico, Virginia placed a $15.5 million fixed contract order with Tally Defense for 7,750 M-72A7S, with delivery to be completed in April 2011. The M-72A7 LAW is an improvement on its previous versions. It includes an improved rocket motor for a higher velocity to accurately engage targets past 200 meters, an insensitive munitions warhead to reduce the chance of an accidental explosion, and a Picatinny rail to mount laser pointers and night sights. The LAW is useful in Afghanistan as a small and light rocket system against short and medium range targets by foot patrols on the difficult terrain and high elevations of the country. The Philippines the Philippine Army uses an unknown number of M72 LAWs. Variants U.S. variants, international versions, international designations, specifications. Launcher, length, extended less than 1 a.m. Closed, 0.67 a.m. Weight, complete M72A2, 2.3 a kg. Complete M72A3, 2.5 a kg. Firing mechanism, percussion. Front sight, reticle graduated in 25 a.m. range increments. Rear sight, peep sight adjusts automatically to temperature change. Rocket, caliber, 66 m, length, 508 m, weight, 1.8 kg, muzzle velocity, 145 a.m.s, minimum range, 10 a.m., minimum arming range, 10 a.m., maximum range, 1000 AM, penetration, 250 AM, maximum effective ranges, stationary target, 200 AM, moving target, 165 AM, beyond these ranges there is less than a 50% chance of hitting the target. Users, Australia, M72A6 variant. A Austria, a Belgium, a Canada, a Chile, M72A3 variant. A Egypt, purchased 5000. An El Salvador, a Indonesia, a Israel, a Finland, a Georgia, a Greece, a Luxembourg, a Morocco, a Netherlands, a New Zealand, a Norway, a Philippines, a Portugal, a Romania, a South Korea, a Spain, 
M72A3 variant. A Taiwan, a Thailand, a Turkey, a United Kingdom, used by the British Army from the 1970s to the early 1990s. The M72A9 variant was reintroduced into service for the Afghanistan War. A United States, a Yemen, former users, a Cambodia, FNLA, see also, rocket propelled grenade, shoulder launched multi purpose assault weapon, list of U.S. Army rocket launchers by model number, similar weapons, AT 4, Panzer Faust III, RPG 18 RPG 22, RPG 76, M80 rocket launcher, Miniman, notes. References External links FAS, Gary's U.S. Infantry Weapons Reference Guide, article on the reintroduction of the LAW in Iraq by the USMC, Canadian military page on the M72, patent for sites of M72 patented by Paul V. Choate of Milton, M.A. Patented by Paul V. Choate of Milton, Massachusetts, 1960s U.S. Army M72 training film.